Nerds and welcome to another exclusive book review. I am Meenakshi from Team Book Nerds and okay, so can you relate to just sitting in a classroom, mostly math class, and you're just sitting in the last row and your teacher is droning on about rational numbers, trigonometry, calculus, prime numbers, and you can't understand a thing. First of all, you don't use that in real life, and even if you did, you're just memorizing formulas and you don't even know how to apply yourself. So when it comes to learning your personal finance and how to set up your money for the long run, how to become financially independent, what does passive income even mean? We don't understand all this. Like our generation predominantly doesn't know how to apply this knowledge in our daily life. So I recently picked up You Can Compound by Vivek Mashrani and oh my god, the number of learnings I had from this book is insane. Like in the very first chapter, the author talks about how to make your money work for you about how we are all just stuck in this rat race where we are just working day and night to earn money just putting in the hard work and like just constantly working making like collecting all the money together but our money is not working for us and the problem with running in the rat race is even if you win you're still a rat so he was just talking about how you can make your money work for you and some popular quotes by Winston Churchill where he has said uh, don't invest all your money and all your shares. Don't invest in one single company. If it fails, you fail too. Instead, invest in a bunch of companies and while they work and they come up with money, you can literally earn while you sleep at night. I found that so interesting and I think like my first question was, I am 22. Is it like too late for me to begin investing? Because people begin investing from like way back in their lives. So. When is the right time to start investing? And he makes it very clear from the first page of the book, there is no right time to start investing or a right time to stop investing. You just start, make today day one and just you go with it. Like it's a race, honestly. And the word he uses is newness is the mantra for our current society. You need to stay new. You need to stay updated. You need to know what is your competitive advantage which will give you that edge over your peers and then you use that to work to the best of your ability. And I really like the newness mantra because he had used the term, there's a reason why it's called the newspaper because you're not going to read an old magazine. I found that so interesting and the concept resonated with me immediately. Another concept that really resonated with me was how he used mnemonics like tree and machine, like these are all abbreviations for like denoting each word to make it easier to remember. I remember when I was in third standard and my teacher was teaching me how to memorize the planets. So like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, you just take it like M, V, E, M and everything. And she put it like my very educated mother just showed us the nine planets. So that literally goes like M for Mercury, V for Venus. And I found that so interesting and I, I remember it till today, even after two decades. Same with the concepts in this book because he has given such easy ways to remember it. I don't think I'm ever going to forget this in life. So another thing he mainly thought in the book which I found very interesting was how to believe in yourself and trust the process. How to understand yourself. There's not one fixed plan like one size fits all which will suit your investment planning. You need to know your goals. You need to understand what you want to do in life. You need to personalize your plans as per what goals you have, where you want to go, what your resources are to get there. Each person has a customized plan and you need to prioritize both planning as well as investing. So first understand yourself and figure out where you want to go. So I found this extremely interesting and I also liked how there were a lot of graphs and diagrams throughout the book and there are literally uh, characters created that go through like problems just like we do like literally two characters one is very knowledgeable and the other is the one asking all the questions and it felt like all those questions that I was getting on my mind was the next topic discussed on page so it literally felt like his thought process was similar to my flow of thought like the next question I was getting was the next topic he discussed so definitely if you want to learn about compounding how to manage your personal finances how to become financially like gain financial freedom literally and to actually learn something which you will use in your daily life definitely pick up this book it's available on amazon right now and we also had an exclusive interview with the author on our youtube channel so definitely check out that for any further questions you might have because i had many after reading this book 
So thanks for watching and do stay tuned for the next review coming soon.